It's J Mo, the very best reviews. Tell them none can contest, we gon' stretch the views. Weekly commentary on the shows you can stream from sports to shoes, reviews. We the best in the city. It's J Mo reviews. What's up, everybody? This is Jay, and this is my review for Bel Air, the new show on Peacock, which is the remake, or better yet, the reimagining of the Fresh Prince of Bel Air with Will Smith from the 90s. Now, this show, Bel Air, I think is very good. I definitely recommend watching it. I'm going to break down some scenes and some things about episode one, and then I'm going to give you my Mosco and what I would give this episode. Don't forget that this, although has the same name as the original, it's a totally different, sh different vibe, different feel, and I'm going to break it down. So one of the things about this show is normally... And the original Prince of Bel-Air, his beginning origin story was told in the rap in the opening scene. But in this show, you get to see him in Philly, playing ball, hanging out with his friends, chilling with his mom, all kind of different things going on in his life that we never got to see in the original. One thing about this show that makes it better is that this is not exactly a comedy. This is more of a dramedy with not as much comedy in it. Now, this uses real cameras and it doesn't use any of the type of cameras that made it like a TV show or a sitcom in the original form. Now, he eventually, of course, gets into trouble and he goes from Philly to Bel Air. He meets Jazz. We see how him and Jazz became friends. Jazz is the one that gave him a ride, somewhat like an Uber driver, I guess you would say. And they both meet his uncle and aunt at the same time. We get to meet Joffrey and see a little bit about his origin and where he's from. Aunt Viv and Uncle Phil, they both are real cool, but as he gets to meet all of the family, it's a lot better in this regards because it's not a sitcom. You know, they feel like real people. Hillary is a young influencer on Instagram. She's trying to grow her brand. Uh, we see Ashley is a smart, intelligent young lady. She's trying to find her place in the family, but at the same time, securing herself. Um, she's very intelligent moving forward. Carlton is more of the villain of the show, if it would be a villain. A uh, snob, similar to how it was in the first series, except he's more of a jerk, somewhat insecure in his place. At his school, he was the cool black dude, and Will comes, and he's about to uproot all of that, and he plays lacrosse and hangs with the white guys and all of that, and it was a, even a scene that was real cringy that showed that they were rapping in the locker room, and the white guys was saying the N-word back and forth like it was nothing. And Carlton was there just dancing and, and doing a little jigaboo, having a good old time. And Will came through and told everybody to chill and step to him. And Carlton was there to defend his friends in saying it and doing it. And it was a real good scene. It was very interesting and I like how it played out. It didn't seem corny or forced or using, you know, current events as a storyline. Um, and Carlton, of course, they have everybody a lot darker than the original cast, which there's nothing wrong with that. It's a reimagining. I guess they want to portray people uh, and more in their blackness 
and not so much as some people feel is always light-skinned blacks are the ones that's always represented on TV. Um, now, Will Smith character was Will Smith show, and that's who he is in this, that he has the same name, um, and the character that plays Will Smith in the show does a very good job. Um, he does have the most humor and the most comedic lines in the show when he came and finally met Uncle Phil outside. It was kind of funny how he was talking and everything. And Uncle Phil was a little more uptight and he tried to tone him down, gave him a hug, told him, you know, we'll talk later, basically chill. And so it's just really cool to see that this is a reimagining and not just retelling the same story. Um, we saw Carlton and Hillary and Ashley, and they were all talking about Will's place and what may, what they may do to bring him into the family. Um, Hillary, she got the beautiful hair, and uh, she's trying to be an influencer as a cook. She's not the airhead that we once saw. Uh, Joffrey is not just a typical butler. We get to know a little bit more about his storyline and from Jamaica and different things. Um, and he's actually one of the coolest characters on the show. And so as Will and Carlton's relationship developed, uh, Carlton becomes more of a jerk, dislikable, and it's understandable. He got issues, maybe a little substance abuse issues as well on the side. Um, and it's a little bit more explained with his relationship um, and it's with Aunt Viv that's her sister's son and so I don't know if some people remembered that that was his relationship to them maybe some people don't you know maybe he was related to Uncle Phil nevertheless it's a very good show and it's pretty cool to see this in a new form great camera work excellent excellent uh you know scenery locations cinematography and the costumes the the set design all of that top notch it's uh you know executive produced by russell westbrook and will smith and i mean with those two that they're gonna have top notch everything and so I would give this a rating of an 8.5 for this first episode. Of course, I give flexibility of a 0.5 in either direction. But this first episode was very good. I like to see how he got in trouble on the court. They show it. They show how he ended up in Bel Air, um, which was really cool, worth watching. And everything was really good i mean there's a very well done it's worth watching i definitely recommend it the first episode is free on peacock and i think this is going to be their flagship show to bring in new subscribers to their network if you haven't already check out my discord become a member of my channel we watch shows talk about movies everything chat it's really a cool place. We're about to watch all the episodes of Bel Air. So come through, check it out. I definitely think this is a cool place. You get to chat with me and other cool, like-minded uh, TV movie enthusiasts as well as cool people in general. And I think you'll definitely enjoy it. Join the channel membership. You won't regret it. Be a Tommy Egan level or higher to get in the Discord. And I'll see you there. Y'all have a great evening. Peace, and I'm out. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit that like, subscribe, bang that bell, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.